Hey there, it's OBD Codex. Today we're talking about the P0496 code, a common and medium level severity issue. Don't worry, we won't tell anyone if you panicked when you first saw it on your OBD2 scanner. We've all been there. You can still drive your car in the short term, but we recommend getting it checked out sooner rather than later. After all, you don't want your car to feel neglected and start acting out. And let's not forget about the environment, we want to keep it happy and healthy too. Now, let's get down to business. The P0496 code checks for vacuum flow issues in your car's EVAP system, which keeps harmful emissions from being released into the air. The control module seals the system and checks for vacuum flow by monitoring the fuel tank pressure sensor. If there's too much vacuum within a certain time, the P0496 code is set. This condition can cause a variety of symptoms, including Illuminated check engine light, it's like your car's way of saying, hey, something's not right here. Hard start or crank. If your car is having a hard time starting up or cranking, it could be related to issues with the EVAP system. And an engine running rich. Running too rich is not sustainable in the long run and could lead to decreased fuel efficiency and harm to the environment. This code can be caused by a few different things. A faulty purge or vent solenoid valve is a common culprit, as is a plugged EVAP canister or a failed fuel pressure sensor. Poor electrical connections or a faulty canister purge valve can also cause the code to trigger. In Hyundai vehicles, a leaking EVAP system hose can lead to the P0496 code being triggered. Meanwhile, in Kia and Mazda vehicles, a faulty purge flow sensor may be to blame. Here are some steps you can take to diagnose and fix the problem. Step 1. Check your fuses for any blown ones. Step 2. Inspect the wiring harness for damage. Step 3. Inspect the vent valve for cracks or damage and replace them if necessary. Step 4. Use a digital volt ohm meter to check for continuity in the wires. Step 5. Check power and ground with a scan tool or bulb. Repair or replace any affected electrical circuits. Step 6. Check for proper resistance in the vent valve. Step 7. Remove the valve and give it a good cleaning if it's sticking due to fuel residue. It's important to note that proper diagnosis is key before replacing any parts. And if you're not comfortable with the work involved, it's best to leave it to the professionals. Thanks for tuning in to OBD Codex. We hope our breakdown of the P0496 code was helpful. Remember to use our lookup tool for any OBD2 issues you may have. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay up to date on all things OBD2. Happy driving!